Hey folks, welcome to the channel. In today's build, we continue the Wakazashi build. This is episode four. In this one, um, to start out with, the first thing I wanted to say is, yes, I did redo the handle um, and lined up the, um, the guard uh, properly. So uh, it was just bugging me and um, yeah, I decided to fix it, so it's fixed. Uh, in this episode, uh, I do the Seiya, the, uh, the scabbard, and uh, work on uh, some updated pieces. So stay tuned. Let's take a look. Now that I've got the updated handle, uh, I need to work on the Kashira, which is the new pommel, because uh, this one is slightly different size, different shape. So let's do that. I'm sure if I had a swage block with a rounded bottom, uh, I could kind of hammer this in. It'd be a lot easier, but I don't have one of those. Well, folks, this is actually the fourth Kashira I've made. The first one with copper, which didn't work out. You saw in the last video. Made one for the last handle. Then I made one that didn't work out for this one. And this is the final one. Here I'm just smoothing it out into an oval on the grinder, then I'm going to wrap that other piece of metal around it, MIG weld it, and then I should have my cashier. This part's a little finicky and tedious to get this wrapped around tight enough that I can MIG weld it and I won't see a seam. Here I've already MIG welded it, now I'm just taking it to the grinder and taking off all the weld seams. So here's the completed Kashira. I think it came out pretty well. I still need some final sanding, but uh, the shape and everything is, looks good. It fits really nicely onto the handle. So I still need to put the slots in it, but i um, pretty happy with it. Now I'm starting on the Seiya. Uh, this is pretty much the same process as doing the handle. I split it down the center, uh, drew out the blade, and now I'm just chiseling out the center so I can glue it back together. So I've got the uh, Seiya all glued up. If I put the sword in, it's just got just the right amount of stick to it. And I know I don't have the Koiguchi, which is the top piece, but uh, it fits really nice right now. So next thing is to put this on there and trace out the, um, the blade and shape the Seiya. Grinding this thing made a huge mess in my shop. Uh, it was so long I couldn't use my dust collection because I kept hitting it. So, uh, what a mess. All right, there is the Seiya all shaped and sanded. Uh, sorry, I missed the uh, putting the 
camera, turning the camera on for the beginning of that, but um, you saw me shape it. Um, it looks really nice. So very happy with that. Next is the piece that goes over the top here called the Koiguchi. Uh, I've been told uh, Gucci means mouth, I think, because it's the mouth of the scabbard. And Koi is fish because it resembles a, uh, um, a puffer fish. I don't get it, but okay. Um, what I'm going to use is actually, and this is normally a piece of wood, I believe, with some copper liner or a copper ferrule around it. I'm actually going to use a piece of G10. This is red and black G10, so I'm going to um, just epoxy that on there and then shape it. I think that's going to look cool. So first thing is to get that shape onto here and glue it on. So I've traced the habaki on there because the habaki's got to fit through there. So I trace the habaki on there as a starting point. Uh, going to go put some drills through this and then lots of filing again. So I've got the Koiguchi done. It's all formed out of G10. I put some holes in here for epoxy and I'm gonna shape that, but it fits quite nicely. There's a good lock to it, so that's what I want. I've just got this pin sitting here. So I just gotta shape that. We're gonna glue it up. I've already um, form the handle. I got a bit more sanding to do on the uh, on the Seiya, but uh, it's pretty close. Here's the Koiguchi on the Seiya. Um, it needs to be uh, finally ground to match the, uh, the mouth of the Seiya, but um, it fits pretty good. If I... It's a little bit loose, so I might um, just drop a little epoxy in there just to tighten this up a little bit. But uh, I'm pretty happy with it. It should look pretty nice. And I beveled the edges all here so that it would just seat itself. The last piece I'm going to do uh, in this part of the build is the Kurikata, which is the little knob that um, sits on the uh, Seiya to hold the, the wrap, to hold the cord that's going to attach um, the scabbard to, uh, to the user. So I've decided to use the same G10 it wasn't quite thick enough, so I just glued two pieces together. I'm gonna to form this, cut a slot, and we're gonna glue it approximately right there. You should be able to put your hand right above that and push the sword up with your thumb. So it's gonna go approximately right there. Actually, there. <laughs>
Hey folks, we're going to wrap the video up here. Um, managed to get this painted, at least the first coat. Got a couple more coats to do on this, but uh, the say is coming along nicely. I got to finish off the handle, finish off all of the fittings, do the final uh, coats on those fittings and sanding, and put it all together. Also, the wrap on the handle, so stay tuned. Next one's going to be the final one. Thanks, folks. Remember to like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.